Well, at the Texas Capitol today, Democrats say they are determined to stop the Republican backed election reform bills from becoming law. Senate Democrats say all options are on the table to stop Senate Bill 1, the major GOP backed election reform bill. That's the same sentiment we heard from House Democrats. But today, the Dems in the upper chamber decided to fight the Republican bill by filing their own, the Barbara Jordan Fair Elections Act. They say it ensures safe and secure elections without creating hurdles for people to vote. No surprise, Republicans are sticking with SB1. One of them is ugly and mean and stokes phantom fears of false menaces. And the other one is good. The other one is about hope, it is about participation, and it's about faith in voters, election officials, and local officials. Which vision is right for this state? Most of the provisions in the bill aren't aimed at voters who are trying to cheat. The voters are trying to get it right. The provisions are aimed at vote har pardon me, aimed at vote harvesters. They're aimed at people who are trying to influence and coerce voters. It's to protect the voters so they can express their will at the ballot box. It's a good common sense bill. As Senator Brian Hughes, the author of SB1, he says if it doesn't pass, he believes Governor Greg Abbott will call lawmakers back for another special session. The Senate Democrats are hoping for a hearing on their bill, but say it is not likely to happen. Meanwhile, the first public hearings on the election reform bills happen this Saturday. The Senate Committee on State Affairs is taking up SB1 at 11 a.m. and the House well, things are much different with the election reform bill this time around. Speaker of the House Dade Phelan created a new special committee to look at the election reform bill, the Select Committee on Constitutional Rights and Remedies. During the regular session, the Elections Committee looked at the bill and the bill election was, excuse me, the election bill was written by the chair of the Elections Committee, which was Republican Briscoe Cain. This time around, the new bill has a new author, Republican Andrew Murr, who says he has an open door policy with all lawmakers on House Bill 3 to make the bill better. Now, this is all part of Speaker Fiedland's plan to take a fresh look at election reform. And we're going to take a fresh look at, at the election integrity issue. We're going to have a new bill and it's going to go through the process. There will be debate. We will have a full and open committee process. We will have members of the public being able to testify. We also have the virtual option here in, in, uh, in the Texas House and we will have a full debate on the House floor and everyone will have an input on that bill. So the House committee will meet at 8 a.m. Saturday morning to hear public testimony on HB3.